rejoice hallelujah ko ki hum you did merit to bear hallelujah hallelujah that's the son as he said hallelujah yeah pray for us to god hallelujah hallelujah rejoice be glad come and pray hallelujah 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 and the lord is listening to you hallelujah hallelujah let us pray oh god we desire to give joy to the world through the reception of the son of our lord jesus christ grant me this teach now through the mother the virgin mary we may obtain the joy of our last in life in the same christ of our lord amen amen hallelujah hallelujah praise you father praise you father praise you jesus praise you jesus do minutes continuously in prayer for infilling of the holy spirit And at the same time we do the prayer of deliverance we cast out any kind of disturbing thoughts that are bothering our minds and our thinking in the work is in the work part of the things are happening happen when any kind of disturbing things there in our life we have to cast out all the disturbing thoughts and we focus to get the focus the focus on the word of god for the feeling of the holy spirit two minutes continuous we praise and thank the lord and we see sing and praise the lord hallelujah 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 thank you lord praise you jesus hallelujah 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 Thank you Lord praise you Jesus Thank you Lord praise you Jesus Hallelujah 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 Alleluia 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 cast out alleluia 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 i cast the name of jesus alleluia 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 cast out all the disturbing thoughts हालेलुया my mind is peaceful i am focused and concentrated i am seeing the word of god 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 thank you lord praise you jesus 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 hallelujah 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 Lord praise you Jesus praise you Jesus Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah
Should we sing a song, Father? Yes, Father. Oh, Father, your volume is a little low. You can sing the song now? Yes, Father, yes. We'll invoke the Holy Spirit into our midst right now. Welcoming the Spirit of God into our midst. Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Call him, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Let's rejoice and call the Holy Spirit. All the angels on the saints, be with us right now. We call unto you, come with us right now. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. We cast out in the name of Jesus all the disturbing thoughts. All the disturbing thoughts we cast out in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus we cast out. Holy Spirit, come. Come with your fire, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come with your fire. Holy Spirit, come with your fire.
of Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 22. Gospel of Matthew 21, 22. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Can you see the uh, Father? We, yeah, we are able to see only the. We are not able to see the PowerPoint, Father. You open the PowerPoint. Yes, Can you see the PowerPoint? No, no, Father, no. Yeah, now open again, Father. Now can you see? Yeah, now we can see Father. Yes. Thank you Lord. Praise, Praise you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Praise you Jesus. So we were seeing, we are continuing the class. We were seeing the limiting beliefs and the belief transformation, no? Yes Father. And we are taking the limiting beliefs limiting beliefs and these limiting beliefs when we speak about limiting beliefs and beliefs transformation it is affected it is affected in our life from the very childhood onwards unknowingly unconsciously it is imprinted imprinted and that is the when you have once once you have a limiting beliefs Suppose how you will, how will you be able to find out when you, whatever the happening, any negative things are happening, you have to take that incident and along with that incident, you have to ask the Holy Spirit and is there any kind of limiting beliefs? The Holy Spirit will help you. I'll give you an example. So I remember one of my parishioners, I take from the parish incident. There was a young uh, youth member, very young, dynamic, very excellent, very highly talented. But this girl is from the, his, her father is a watchman. Her father is a watchman and I am not uh, revealing the identity. I know we have to keep the... Uh, uh, so I am not telling the place where I where it happened. Some years back it has happened, and uh, her father is a watchman, and they are living very happy life. And she was very highly talented, skillful, and whatever way the father was able to help them to study, gave good education, and during the marriage time. Maybe because most probably she was a very beautiful, she was highly talented, not getting that much good education at all. And she got a, a one businessman married her. Till her marriage day, I have seen uh, she was a youth member, she was so happy, very active and everything. And after the marriage, after the marriage, she used to come, she used to make a phone call and sometimes 
going on crying and crying even though her husband was a businessman a businessman financially very good family she got ma married to a good family ba background and uh, regularly she comes and calling me with her financial problem one day i asked her to come and we'll sit together and pray when i was praying and praying asked the holy spirit lord reveal to me why this girl is going why she was not not able to come up in the life is there any kind of block in her life so i asked her it is the main problem with the financial area i asked her so she was speaking about the financial problem and when she was asking i asked her i wanted to know what is the mental image what is the mental picture it is going on what is going on in her mind i wanted to know it and i asked her what you have heard about money in your childhood what you have heard about money about your childhood and she said because her father was a watchman every time every time she asked the money for the when she go to the class any needs in the school and the teachers tell the children to bring the money they immediately daddy will take the moment she tell daddy i need a money means daddy will take the purse and open the purse and will tell my purse is empty my purse is empty my purse is empty the moment she said the word repeated every time my daddy used to tell my purse is empty so from she is from the poor family i asked i understood and i told her now i am giving you how we what is her limiting belief what is her limiting belief limiting belief it is my purse is empty my purse is empty my purse is empty it is a that was a belief limiting belief she is having it was it is deeply subconsciously imprinted from the childhood my purse is empty and if you have I, that is why i then i told her you don't blame your husband for the problem you are the reason you are the reason and we have a one spiritual law in the spiritual growth the law of reason means whatever is happening setback and failures you are the cause don't blame anybody you have to point out you have to point out yourself you have to tell it yourself i am the reason so i told her you have to tell it you have to realize i am the reason you have to realize it and now what you have to do you have to change the belief and what is now purse is empty now you new print you have to put it my purse is full of money i am having always full of money full of money my purse is always full of money you have to wash with the blood of jesus and book of ephesians is teaching us no to uproot all the words that is imprinted by the satan any the satan whatever it is a wrong limiting beliefs it has put down put down your life is a replica of your beliefs your life is a replica of your belief who am i i am my belief what is means me i am my belief so what is about the faith my purse my belief is my purse is empty whatever the amount of money the husband is giving into your hand money cannot stay with you why money cannot stay there are some people like that money cannot stay with them whatever the money comes it goes it goes so this is the limiting belief you have to realize yes i told her you say it continuously three months continuously you say it invoke i believe god's favor is upon me my purse is always full of money for all my needs my purse is always full of money my purse is always full of money 
you by repeating and repeating i told i told you the secret is a repetition and you claim it lord whatever the money comes to me it is sealed and protected and it is remain with me it work in the best way and money is used in the best purpose in the divine divine realm and i have money stays in my purse my purse is full of money money stays with me money stays with me money stays with me and work with me my purse is full of money my purse is full of money my purse is full of money i gave this affirmation this word of god i the god has give me give you has come to give you life life in abundance you claim you claim that negative billion you change it yes i have i have abundance i have my purse is full of money whens i gave this word of god i gave i told him wait to this affirmation repeat it and after that she never came with a few money problem her problem is solved now that is called belief empowerment belief empowerment belief transformation change whatever it is negative word how you can check it any sentence any of your family member says whatever they are speaking you just you can see morning session we give the uh, we, we we give the time for the feedback and question answer after every word somebody says you just say amen when you say amen then that is the problem that is the problem so money is not staying with me means it is a problem now you transform you make it a very positive way by faith you make an affirmation money is my purse is what the girl said my purse is empty what is the opposite you can make it every negative it has a positive so that positive word you have to imprint it and my purse is full of money my purse is full of money her problem is solved that is called belief transformation you change it whatever the people are speaking any negative when you any area you are not able to able to progress you have to ask you have to ask why what it is going on in my thought what is the thought pattern the repeated thought pattern and it is called paradigm paradigm it become repeated way it is happening in your life unknowingly and you the with related to the health i remember very international preacher very holy priest i was shocked he was speaking from the pulpit i am a wounded healer i am a wounded healer means what does it mean by wounded healer what does it mean by wounded healer i am a sick person he is a healer international healer at the same time he is going to throughout his life he was going through lot of sickness in his life what is the reason unknowingly because at that time now he died he died he is maybe i don't know he may become a surely he was very famous person and may become saint also such a holy person but that time i understood even though i was a i was a seminary and i was a young priest i used to go once in a year i traveling a lot to make a confession he was such a holy priest but every time the moment he says i am a wounded healer i understood this is the reason his father is going to throughout his life it is because of throughout his life there is no time without sickness in his life he was throughout his life full of sickness and every time he come into the baby was sitting and giving the talk he will tell my people i am a wounded healer please forgive me and then he will take the class and it is repeated and repeated till his death he was a sick person so once you say if you have that that thought that any kind of if you are going through the life situation continuous sicknesses are coming regularly you have to reprogram make it a three month 
three months. That is why I tell if you are attending three months continuously our program, you will get a PhD. You will get a PhD in the life transformation principles. You will get a counseling, the PhD in the counseling. You can transform yourself, you can transform other, others also. And if you have the health issues, you claim, yes, I am always, I am always perfectly healthy, strong and powerful. I am always perfectly healthy, strong and powerful. I am always perfectly healthy, strong and powerful. I am whole, perfect and complete. I am whole, perfect and complete. I am whole, perfect and complete. I am always full of energy, vibrant and vitality, dynamic, active. I am always energetic, vibrant, dynamic, active. You claim, you claim in your life that is related to, you may have, ask yourself, Maybe the career. Some people every month they have to change their career. They will be terminated. No permanency in the career. You claim it. I am, my job is protected. I am excellent in my career. I am excellent in my career. And some people do any business, it will be failure. I am always successful. My business is growing better and better and increasing more and more. And the same with the relationship. People, some people know, they get married, they get married, get divorced, second marriage, divorce, third marriage, divorce. And it is a pattern. And whose problem? And you may be finding the reason it is because of my mother-in-law. You may be finding the law it is because of your husband. The moment you are searching, you are finding out the reason and uh, searching the reason outside your life, out of you, and you cannot solve the problem. If the issues are going on, you just claim the best people are coming to me. I get the right people, right people are coming to me, best people are coming to me. I am always harmonious harmonious relationship with every, everybody. I am having such a harmonious, loving relationship with my husband. I am having harmonious, very loving relationship. You have to program. You have to program. With related to your relationship, you have to program. Yes, instead of getting one marriage, second marriage, third marriage, see why the breaking? And it is a negative, it is within you. Don't blame any other people. And you will attract the negative. If your mind is negative, you will attract the negative. I remember uh, once uh, our one of our team member only brought uh, one, one, one businessman. He was a businessman, he lost everything. Somebody cheated him, he lost all the money. When he came, we say, we see when the, we take the classes on the scene, we hear every action has a reaction. The first question I asked it, how many people you have cheated? How many people to, how many to whom, how many number of people were cheated by you? And the one who was brought it, this man was going on cheating other people. He was looting the people, cheating the people, and finally what happened? Another person cheated him and he lost everything. So it is very important thing. And it is our life is a replica of our life, our inner, inner thoughts and emotions. So that is why purify all the negative thoughts. You claim, I claim, you have to claim, I receive supporting people around you. I receive harmonious relationship. I receive the love and support from everybody. Instead of you blaming the children, after the marriage, my son is not talking to me. Who is not talking? It is your problem. You have to accept Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is upon my son. I love my son. I love my son. I receive 
I am having throughout my life. I receive the love and support of my son. And you continuously confess, I love my son, I love my son, I love my son, I love my son. I receive the love and support, honor and respect every time you visualize and picturize your son is loving me. And you claim, you make a statement, make an affirmation about the relationship. All this relationship, it is the relationship statements and affirmation are there in our faith, in our faith, faith affirmation, soul engineering, faith affirmation paper. You claim it. I claim, I claim, I receive harmonious relationship, harmonious relationship. And again, it related to the children. Related to the children, you have to pray. You have to pray. Yesterday, one mother was telling the testimony, my son. And she saw the vision that son is going into the church. And the very next day, within 24 hours, she got the testimony. Today morning, she gave the testimony. So within 24 hours, miracle happened. So you have to claim, I, my children are obedient. Spirit of the Lord is upon my children. I wash my children. I cut and break all their bondages. My children are obedient. My children are obedient. My children are holy. My children are holy. My children. You going on confess and anoint with that spirit. My children are holy. My children are. My daughter is an angel. My daughter is an angel. My son is a very anointed child. I receive the love and support. He is responsible. He is responsible. My children are. My children are healthy, wealthy, and prospering. My children are prospering. My children are healthy, wealthy, and prospering. My children are uh, always successful in their life. You claim, and you are transforming. That is called belief transformation. About the family, you claim, I am blessed, my family is blessed, my children are blessed. We live always in love, joy, peace, and harmony. Some family every day fight on it. You take the authority, just cast out this, all the negative power working in the family, and you have to claim the positive belief, faith affirmation about your family, you confess. I am blessed, my family blessed, my children are blessed, only good things are happening. I am blessed, my family blessed, my children are blessed. We live in love, joy, peace and harmony. I am blessed. And my family blessed. My children are blessed. I am we live in love, joy, peace and harmony. And, uh, and uh, once I remember one incident, once I took a charge in a parish. I went, I reached very late night only in the parish. Very late. I when when I reached there. Watchman was there to welcome me. And unexpected way I reached there, unexpected time I reached there. And this watchman was fully alcohol, fully drunk. And I felt very pain how I have to live with this person. And I started to pray for Lord, I always used to pray, Lord, supporting people. Then I started to claim, I started to claim and I wrote it in my mobile. You see, I am not sure whether you are able to see it or not. Uh, able to see it. Can you read it? Anybody can unmute and read it? I wrote it a great and excellent servant. I started to confess. Excellent servant, yes. Yeah, great. It's a watchman's number, phone number. Can you imagine? I did not write his name also. Lord said to Jacob, now you change your name. You are Israel. I am blessed. 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 What happened to Jacob? Jacob became blessed. He became Israel. And at the same way, Great, excellent servant. I started to play. I got, and within, due to some family issues, that's a watchman, within few days, he went back to his village in, 
in Nepal he went back he was in Nepal he went back to Nepal and I got a how I was confessing excellent great excellent servant that is the word I wrote it wrote it and started to pray Lord so that wherever I go everything will take care of the parish so I got it so you have to write it down in the family it related to the ministry ministry I said all the time I used to confess Ekishal Kusama Eshukitya Holiya Inomne Chinni Changai Chavaka Pradiligi So all our program excellent wonderful I confess it So then everything it is working in the divine world And sometimes people even today also one priest asks How you manage with your parish and retreat and everything And it is only we confess Nothing else we confess We take a decision We can take a decision so that is why today also parishioners when the morning seven in the evening seven o'clock mass is over then then only if there is no any other meeting and program I will go at thirty for the uh, class so evangelization whatever it is needed but I I gave you some example see you know how to it is a totality of your life your health wealth your career your business your relationship your children. The totality of life means otherwise you if you are focusing on health, when health problem will be solved, after the health problem there will be financial problem. After the financial problem, there will be job problem. After the job problem, then relationship problem. And after the relationship problem, the children problem. After the children problem and uh, some other problem. One after another, problems, problems, problems. So that is why with, with the life in fullness, life, I have come to give you life in fullness, life in abundance, in all the areas of your life you focus and remove all the limiting belief and wherever the issues are you are facing, you have to, whatever the only thing you have to write it down very clearly, what is the challenges you are facing and you just think about what ought to be, what positive thing, then that positive words you have to confess. I told about the wealth. One girl came to me and told about her financial, about her financial, her financial problem. It is from the very childhood that negative belief, purse is empty. Then I corrected. Purse is full of money. Always my friends is full of money. I have financial freedom. You play with a little health. I am healthy, strong and powerful. Yes, I am excellent in my profession. My business is growing. I am having harmonious, loving relationship. My children are blessed. My family is blessed. My ministry is growing. An excellent, wonderful anointed. For money, for the money matters, I say, for all the program, money is supplied. For evangelization, I say, give us souls, O Lord, give us souls. So, the people come for the for the word of God. So that is why that is where we have to change the limiting belief and convert it into in the belief transformation. You understood? Limiting beliefs are there, then convert it into belief transformation. Now I give you a time because this is an area people need at the help. So if you have any questions, Jerry, you are there? Yes, Father. And you can give, give the time for unmute. Given, Father. If anybody wanted to ask question, let me stop the... Yes, Father, you can stop. After stopping, should I be live on YouTube, Father, or should I go on live? Uh, okay, let it be live. Okay, Father. It will be useful for the people, no? Yes, Father, yes. That's what I was also thinking. So if you have any issues and challenges, how to remove, how to transform negative beliefs into uh, belief empowerment, belief empowerment, belief transformation. If you have any questions, and you can ask it now. Yeah. 
father can i ask one yeah you can ask it yes uh, father sometimes na now everything is going good but in between it something happens uh, business is not going on or money financial crisis is come during that time all the past things come in the mind father all the past things now what had happened these all things starts come in by the, is it because of that all these things past things now father starts to come in the mind and sometimes it gets shaky also father so some people experience in this over thinking you understood yes father over thinking and negative thinking and uh, that is the reason we i speak about the neural plasticity you understood mm. neural plasticity means the paradigm we have to change it paradigm the pattern we have to change it let me uh, let uh, you just observe how it is happening in our life many of the thought pattern many of our words and it is very very unknowingly it is repeated i ask you the question when you go to the church when you go to the church where you are standing or kneeling down in the church is there any place is booked for you no father do you have any place is fixed and it is booked booked in the church no father church is open for everybody yes father you are every regularly every day you may be going for the church and mass you just observe where you are standing in the church that's most of the time you when you enter into the place the same seat you are sitting yes. same place you are kneeling down same place you are am i correct yes father you are absolutely right father oh. that it is a is annoying it is happen so what i is repeating that is why i am telling when this negative things are happening you just claim without fail 90 days 90 days repeat and why we are telling 90 days 90 days means within 90 days all the all the all the cells of the body will be replaced yes yes father right. biologically biologically all the cells will be replaced in 90 days and when the 90 days continuously repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating that is why i told the secret for the transformation can you say the two words what are the secret of what are the secret of transformation the secret of transformation is it is a repetition repeating the faith why we are saying the same thing in the morning so it is one of the limiting belief there is up and down in the life you understood yes father there is a it, without your own permission i am putting a new belief transformation every day every way i am getting better better and better and it will become repeat and repeat and repeat and suppose if there is a dirty water in the glass when continuously pour out the clean water finally when the water is tap is open all the dirt will go the clean water it is going on in the in the glass and finally become it is very clean pure you yes. understood yes yes father yes same way because we have lived a life of setback and failures and tragedies and it is it is coming out it is coming out so you have to don't blame anybody and claim it yes i need a transformation and repeat and repeat at least in the financial area you can claim every day every way i am getting better and but i am getting richer and richer and richer and and you have to ask the holy spirit make a strategy what you make a strategy you ask the holy spirit i am getting money generating idea i am getting multiple businesses multiple this you ask the holy spirit how i can develop my businesses more and more businesses 
and uh, how you then you take a massive action massive and uh, yesterday i told no conscious mind there should be an alignment between the conscious mind and unconscious mind so with relate to the money also by repeating repeating rep repetition and consistency these are the two words consistency means it is every day every day every day it is you have to do it every day it is become part and parcel of your life part and parcel of your life and maybe we are meeting we are meeting only one hour and one hour we are positive then what about 23 hours yes yes father you are you're right father. keeping one step forward am i keeping step 90 99 steps back you are right father yes 99 back 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 so it will go it will defeat in yourself so that is why it is that is why saint paul is teaching it is a spiritual warfare it is a spiritual warfare spiritual warfare and going on never get never never ever give up it is a very very famous statement during the second world war the one of the most famous uh, sermon preaching sermon uh, the talk by the winston churchill never 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 ever give up never 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 ever give up and it is a spiritual war and claim i am getting richer richer and richer i am getting better better and better day by day i am getting more and more blessed and you defeat this negative thought pattern a new paradigm is created yes, yes. and it become a new belief system then the things unconsciously 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 it become the reality when i was in my childhood it is a village background but i have noticed always it is in the family in the various kinds of lot of businesses was there we were having as a joint family about 20 people were there in my family with their grandfather and father, they are having the five children their wives their children children and everybody together as a joint family and it is always i have seen all the finance everything common only and maybe because of the all are working and all are maybe in the paddy field the business and all maybe and shelf is full of money for all the needs money it is there so it is there in my mind already for all my needs money is there i have they did not properly save or it was the village bank so why i believe it so for any matter whenever i open my purse and bag money it is there my came for the uh, came for the new place and uh, it is a training for my the cook it is there in the kitchen and the 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 servant here father your pocket is always money only <laughs> what i got to do so and then do i have to either you are not keeping your money i, I will take it as a bonus see i what i am telling it is childhood it is happened yes right father it is happened it became a reality in my life i remember the same day i got ordained i got ordained 1995 december 27 the same day there was one one more uh, my classmate he was a son of a diamond merchant he was a son of a diamond merchant same day he got ordained he got ordained same day he got ordained he was a son of a diamond merchant and it is in the childhood it is uh, it is full of money and can you imagine when he became the priest what is there in every sense of the body being born as a son of a diamond merchant in every sense it is diamond only gold only it is it is full of money only and when he became the priest within few months he was a medical doctor he was a medical doctor and i believe that may be the reason 
He generated. You can't imagine what a bishop, what a whole diocese. He generated more than 1,500 crores and built up. He bought 25 acres of land in the city and built up 3,000 bed big medical college. Can you imagine? Yeah. He is my classmate. We were, and the same day we, we are the batchmate. Bat, batmate and the same day we got ordained. I saw face to face the, the things happening in his life. What he was doing and what is the reason. That is why I am telling Pura Sharir Me Masus Karo. Pura Sharir Me Masus Karo. And God, I am rich, abundant and prosperous. I am rich, I am prosperous. Feel it. Feel it and confess it and visualize it. That I was teaching about the faith. The faith is seeing the unseen. You see it and feel it and speak it and act upon. Ask the Holy Spirit. That is why we study now 90 days. Every day we are taking new new classes. We pray for the wisdom. How the Solomon, how what happened in the life of Solomon? Solomon, when he became the became the king, the country was like Ukraine, bombarded, and because of the civil war, completely smashed. What is the special, the present condition of Ukraine? That was the time. That was the condition, and the in the time of Solomon, completely, completely destroyed, and that is why he prayed, Lord, give me the wisdom. And he claimed the wisdom, wisdom for to build up the country. And Bible says, and within few years, the people of God never ever seen such a great, prosperous, glorious country in the world. And he transformed everything. So it is asked the Holy Spirit how I develop more and more businesses and money generating ideas. You can say. You make an affirmation. I receive money generating ideas. I receive money I invest. I getting more and more businesses. Then take a massive action. Take a massive action. And God can change the life within. Within time, God can. And so never allow your emotions doubt. When the when the down means see our body I speak I spoke on the first day the energy and the energy become matter is equal to our body has a vibration energy vibration and frequency when the mind go down you lose everything you understood negative things happen when the body full of energy vibrant and it is it is especially that is why we say to write down gratitude journal, think about what blessing, and it is the emotion of gratitude, emotion of love, and it is a higher frequency, and you attract the things. You attract the things, and 90 days, work out it, and follow this principle. Visualize it, do everyday meditation, visualize it, speak on, going on, confess it, confess. Repeat and repeat, repeat in all the areas for developing the business, more and more various businesses and follow it, follow it, maybe more workers, more workers and I remember I was working in the, in the when I was at Ulasna, one poor man, poor man he was. He never used to come to the church fast. When I went for the visit in the house, I asked why make it a time for the church and the Lord, God will bless you. Then he got little angry, Father, you don't know the people suffering and I have two children, I, my wife and I have to take care of my family morning till evening. I am working very hard 
begins that this is the word and to take care of my to to take care of my family morning till evening i am working does a priest know my my hard working then suddenly the same day when he was so excited i also told i i told him who told you to work very hard and he was astonished then i told him now i went there into his house he was a tailor tailor in the stitching stitching and lot of clothes are there this man alone is going on sitting sitting and stitching morning till evening he is stitching then i told him i tell you one advice as a parish priest you pray lord give me five workers then he got us you told it you told me father what you are talking you are getting lot of clothes for the stitching then why you have to work alone i told him you pray for five workers and when you have five workers all your workers will speak speak to you you are a boss you are a boss and when you have when the five people working working and you have to give only the labor charge what all the money comes it will, it will come into your pocket only and he obeyed me and he bought very good place for the shop and he appointed five laborers and stitching there and i i tell i i use i told i told him the morning you take the children into the take the children into the in the school and attend the holy mass and attend it and after coming you go to the shop and whatever the clothes are you cut he was a very good uh, cutting man and a good tailor and cutting you entrust to your workers entrust to work work it and five people are working and i told him every day noon time after cutting you go to your wife sit with your wife speak with her and eat with her and take a rest to her and have a peaceful life and evening you come there in the shop people after working and they will coming for buying the 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 material pants and shirts and everything and put all the money in your pocket you are working only one person now five people are working more work is there and within one year they were able to build up they were able to set up a good fat house for them hallelujah 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 so you have to ask the holy spirit it is called leverage leverage means and when you work alone how our ministry is going on brother neris is there yes, glory is there yes, you are there all of us see i come only for preaching you understood and all the money matters are taken care by the neris and our anthony our anthony class our william everybody is working so that is why ministry is going on yes, if i am doing alone means you tell it i am the preacher i am i am a parish priest being even though i am parish priest why i am why i am doing able to do it it is because of the help of other people so you have to ask the holy spirit how i can build up you confess the word of god then it will come already 2:30 and 9:30 and 9:32 yes father yes yes uh, can we ask if anybody else wants to ask question you can you ask anything then uh, another day okay I'll okay do. okay father okay Yeah, so we'll wind up father now just to say lord i thank you just to say thank you you create an emotion of that just to type it you remove that uh, spotlight yes father one minute huh? we can meet everybody now Okay, Pamela, you wanted to speak. She raised the hands, no? Yeah, no, no, sorry, sorry, by mistake. Okay. 
Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. For ten times we can say together. Lord, I thank you. 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 Yeah, father. I think Mama wants to speak. You should know. Yeah, father. Mama wants to speak. I think. Max, Mama. After such a, <laughs> I saw your miss call today. I did not. I just came and celebrated mass. Okay, I thought of calling you. Yeah, Mama, just unmute yourself. I'm so happy. Where are you? father i want to ask you one thing please you know i uh, when when when, uh, when father calls uh, healing blessings and everything no i i receive it with complete faith but you know that that, that again something that that uh, the, the evil one will come and put something in the mind oh you can't get healed you cannot get healed. you i said no i am i am healed i am healed i am healed but again something happens i Not to increase and increase and increase to my pain. That is what is my power. I will love to. How do I get that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like many people are asking me the same thing. Yeah, father, father, mama is asking that uh, when she asks for healing. Uh, healings come. Healings come, but some intervention of thoughts come. Restriction of thoughts, right, Oma? Yes, yes. Yes. She is getting. Oh, you can't get healed. You can't get healed. You have no faith. You have no faith. That is what the devil keeps on saying. Mama, I will come. You are still coming. I will come. Maybe. Then, let, let us uh, maybe in the twenty-third or twenty. Maybe uh, this week I am having the retreat program. Twelfth uh, onwards. After that, I will come. When the retreat, uh, maybe one Monday or more, Tuesday, I come. I wanted to see. Father Joseph has come now as new vicar. Father jo- Joseph Sintu. Okay. He, knows, uh, he wants to have prayer meetings. I told him. I told him call Father Zacharias. I told him because our parish is, you know, uh, it needs a lot of. We in kindling of the flame, which is uh, okay, Mama. I will speak to you personally. I will speak to you personally. Okay, shall we leave it now? Yes, Father. Thank you so much, Father. God bless you. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you.